Hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying this workshop and feel free to ask me your doubts. So I try to explain you in a very simple way so it could be easier for you to understand. So today I'm going to share with you how to decorate the sari packing. Sometimes you have to show the details of your expensive sari from your trousseau then this tray would be perfect because in this tray I'm going to show the entire pallu of this sari. So let's start with the basic material. First you need this picture frame. The size of this picture frame is a 12 by 16 inch. We are using picture frame as a base tray because it will provide support to our other elements you can also use wooden tray but i feel that picture frame is much cheaper and anyway we are going to cover this picture frame we need wooden stick this four are 18 inch long and this one is a 22 inch long i'm going to put amazon link in the description box and then we use some ribbons silk fabric some flowers and fillers so let's begin. So first I'm going to wrap this golden ribbon on these sticks. You can also paint with the golden acrylic paint. So my all the sticks are ready. It looks like this. And after that I'm going to remove the glass from this picture frame. So I'm going to remove this paper and the glass. And then I'm going to put this glass aside because I'm not going to use it. Our frame looks like this. So I'm going to put this frame for a while. And now I'm going to cover this cardboard with the silk fabric. So for that I'm going to use this kind of the silk fabric. And I'm going to cover this cardboard with the silk fabric. For that, I'm going to use this clear gel. You can always use Fevicol or a clear glue. I'm using this clear gel. After that, I'm going to close this frame. And then I'm going to cut all these extra fabrics. And then I'm going to stick this extra fabric on a back side like this. So for that you can use hot glue gun. After that I'm going to stick this paper on a back side to give some finishing. So for that I'm using a hot glue gun. So this is from the back side and it looks like this from a top. So after that I'm going to use this golden ribbon. The width of this golden ribbon is a two and a half inch. And I'm going to cover the edge of this picture frame like this. You can also use a uh, glue or something like that, like a white glue or a clear glue. But I feel that hot glue gun is much more easier. And then I'm going to stick it from the inside. like this and I'm doing the same for all other sides and in the corner you just have to make a tox so 
here you can see you can always stick it like this So after that it looks like this and then I am going to use all these wooden sticks. So first I am going to take all these 4 wooden stick, 18 inch sticks and I am going to stick these sticks on the corner of this frame like this. So for that I am going to use hot glue gun and you have to use lots of glue like this and then I am going to put it like this. And then you just have to hold it for a few seconds. I'm going to add more glue to here. Like this. And the same thing I'm going to do here on other side. I'm using a lots of hot glue gun. And then I'm going to stick this stick like this. You can also stick it from the top. So it's gonna look like this. The same thing I am doing on another side. And after that I am going to use this 22 inch wooden stick and I am going to put it on the top of this two triangle. Uh, make sure that it's gonna be in the center like this. So let it dry for a few minutes and the color palette of my this tray is a purple and golden because my sari is a purple so I'm going to use this purple thread ribbon and then I'm going to use this beautiful golden flowers which I bought it from the Lakshmi single so I'm going to put her contact information in description box so I'm going to use this golden flower which looks so beautiful and then I'm going to use this purple flowers so first I'm going to cover the edges of this tray with this kind of the thread ribbon and I'm going to cover it like this so for that I'm going to use hot glue gun So the base of my tray is ready. Now I'm going to decorate this tray with the flowers and fillers. So I'm going to decorate three side of the tray with the flowers. So first I'm going to decorate the front side of my tray and then I'm going to decorate other two side of my tray. So first I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to make a flower with this ribbon. So for that you just have to cut this ribbon in a very small parts like this and then you just have to stick both the end together like this so it will create the teardrop shape and i'm going to stick this ribbon on the center like this so i'm doing same and i'm trying to arrange all this ribbon in the shape of flower i would recommend you to arrange everything very close to each other so that's what i'm doing so if you are new to use hot glue gun then just be little careful. So it's look like this and then I'm going to stick this leaves. So after that I'm going to use this golden flower. And I'm going to stick this golden flower bunch on the center like this. So same way I'm going to arrange all the flowers and fillers as you can see in a video. So now I'm going to open this brooch 
As you can see, I'm just separating the flower. I'm going to stick this flower here. And then I'm going to separating all these things. So I can use all these elements separately. Now I am using this cardboard and I am going to make a flower bunch on this cardboard. I will tell you later why I am doing this thing. So this is the cardboard and I am making a flower bunch on it.
and after that i'm going to stick this other cardstock on the top of this thing so everything gonna be a secure properly so use some extra glue and put it like this so my brooch is ready it looks like this you can see it looks so gorgeous and after that i'm going to use this safety pin it's very easy available and it's in a color of golden so i'm going to stick this safety pin on a back side of this brooch like this so first you just have to open the safety pin and then you have to hold it like this and then you can stick it so let it dry properly so i'm going to put this thing in a side and now i'll show you how to wrap the sari on the top of this tray so i fold my sari like this and here is the pallu of my sari i just put my sari like this my pallu will be in a bottom so now i'm going to take one split like this and then i'm going to put this split here and then i'm just give some pressure on the split so it will be stable in that place and i'm doing the same with the entire sari like this This one goes like this. Okay. So in this way, I fold my sari. Now I'm going to fix this sari on my tray. So now I'm going to put my folded sari. So I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to put it like this. And then I'm going to open this pallu thing like this. And then I'm going to open my pallu like this. like this from the front and i'm going to show you from the back so it looked like this from the side and then it looked like this from the back so this is the back side this is the side and this is the front side of my sari packing and then i'm going to stick this thing so that's why i just put the safety pin here so i can easily stick this thing so now i'm going to stick it here in the corner so after that i'm going to use this hanging tassel and it's very easy available you can easily find this kind of the tassel from your local decoration store so i'm going to use this hanging tassel and i'm going to hang it here so for that i'm using a hot glue gun And then I'm going to stick this tiny flower on the top of this hanging like this. In this way my trays are ready. If you want to put the blouse or a petticoat you can always put here because here you can see the gap. So you can put your blouse and petticoat in this gap and in this way my tray is ready. I hope you like it. I hope you are enjoying this workshop and if you have any doubt, if you have any question then you can always comment below or you can ask me personally. So in this way my tray is ready and it looks so gorgeous like you just have to carry this tray like this and you can see it looks so beautiful and so gorgeous. So I'll see you in my next tutorial till then. Bye bye.